Do you know what steam is? 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 I know! <laughs> Thanks, Harry. I know too. STEAM stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, Arts and Mathematics. STEAM is an educational approach to learning that uses science, technology, engineering, the arts and mathematics as access points for guiding student inquiry, dialogue and critical thinking. The end results are students who take thoughtful risks, engage in experimental learning, persist in problem solving, embrace collaboration and work through the creative process. These are the innovators, educators, leaders and learners of the 21st century. Some experts predict that more than 40% of jobs in Australia may disappear over the next 10 to 15 years. That's 5 million jobs most of them replaced by automation and a new generation of computers learning to think for themselves. But as jobs disappear, new ones are being created. The engineering design process is extremely vital in any STEAM project. The key principle that not every idea will work perfectly first time is explored throughout this process with building, testing and evaluating in a cyclic nature being the key feature of this process. It's also extremely important for students to understand, and they do, that they may not necessarily design a product that is perfect the first time. It's going to need some degree of refining, rebuilding, redesigning and retesting. The first step is to identify a problem. Before a design project can be undertaken, the goals must be clearly identified. So, students have been asked to consider what real world problem can you think of that you could possibly solve? The next step is to brainstorm. Many possible solutions could fulfil the identified goals. The brainstorm phase encourages these solutions to be identified and considered. And at the moment, most students in 4-5 Clark are brainstorming many different possible solutions to their proposed problem. Design. One idea or a combination of ideas from the brainstorm phase is chosen and developed into a more comprehensive design. This then leads to build. The design is built using the available materials. Test and evaluate. The design is tested to see if it meets the identified goals. The design must be critically evaluated to see where potential improvements could exist. Redesign. This is a key stage in any STEAM project and it's important for all students to understand that their concept, their idea, their product is going to need some degree of redesigning. So improvements are made to the design as a result of the evaluation phase. And finally we arrive at sharing our solution. Once the final design has been developed, which meets all the problem goals, it is important to share this solution. We have a STEAM idea that is fantastic, but it's still secret. We have a STEAM idea that is awesome, but shh, it's a secret at the moment. It's also important for students in 4-5 Clark to understand how their STEAM project is going to be assessed. And in this instance, we are going to be holding a special STEAM Expo. We don't know when yet, 
but we will let you know, where we will invite staff, parents and guardians, special guests to come and view each team's projects and products. So we're going to award a third prize to the best overall design, including its PowerPoint presentation, its poster designs and the team's marketing success. A second prize will be awarded to the greatest ability to communicate with audience about their design journey. It's important for groups to tell us their story, how their idea came to be, how it evolved and how they finally achieved their end result. And a first prize for the most developed, innovative and creative concept. So stay tuned because over the next few weeks, months, we're going to be giving you more updates about how 4 or 5 Clark are going with their STEAM project. Hopefully, it's full STEAM ahead.